Gun Network back again. What's up, YouTube? Thought I'd do a little video on the. I know the background in my videos is uh, just like a row of uh, quite different cartridges. Uh, I thought I'd do a little ballistics info video on what's behind here and what goes in what. And, uh, basically, I just have like the cartridges that. Uh, of guns that you know I own and use and shoot the only cartridge I do not have with me right now is the 50A and 50 BMG um, those would go at the top of these these uh, separate from the shotgun shells they would go at the top because they're 50 American Express, 50 BMG is what the, 50 BMG is what the, um, Barrett 50 Cal shoots, and 50 AE is what the Desert Eagle 50 Cal shoots, and basically the 50 A is a handgun round, and the 50 BMG is a rifle, like, long distance round, um, anyway, basically, for shotguns, I, I don't really, I've got some experience with 12 gauges, some 410s, and some uh, 20 and 16 gauges, but that's pretty much it. Um, I usually, I just keep a few 12 gauges, so I have 12 gauge, 2 and 3 quarter to 3 inch length shells. They come in different lengths, they come in different gauges. But this is what they basically look like. The one on the left that's closed, um, that's what a birdshot or buckshot load will look like. And it's basically packed packed in with, well, like, this, that, those little uh, crystally gelled, jelly, like, little packing. It's like packing, I guess, that they use. And, then a wad and then a bunch of pellets just small small pellets and then the buckshot is uh, nine large lead balls um, not as big you know obviously not as big as a slug lead ball but they're like maybe the size of like a small marble and there's like usually eight to nine of them in the in the round and the round looks like a birdshot round, but it's labeled, you know, double lot buck or whatever buckshot you get. Um, next to it, the red round, the red shotgun round is a slug. That's a one ounce <coughs> iron, uh, basically just piece of iron, like, that's just sh shot at you. <laughs> it's, it's like a basically iron ball. Um, this will do obviously the most damage to somebody. I mean, I, I they most people use double up buck for home defense, because if you shot a slug using slugs for home defense, you're gonna kill your neighbors also. Um, the, the slugs are for long distance shotgun shooting. You don't want to use those for home defense. They pack a punch. Anyway, starting with the rifle rounds again. I don't have 50 BMG. I've got 30 out six. There's a 30 out the first two are 30 out six rounds 30 out six Springfield uh, the 270 Winchester for my Winchester 7 Winchester model 70 um, the 30 30 30 cart the 30 30 Winchester that's for my uh, Winchester model 1894 that's with the uh, hollow pointed tip Next to it is a um, AK round, 762 by 39. Um, it's what most AK 47s fire. Next to it, with the red with the red point on the end, is a 545 by 39 round, and that's what uh, some AK 74s like my Tottle uh, shoot. And they're just slightly smaller and so their uh, recoil isn't as bad um, the 760 by 39 round kind of does pack a little bit of a punch if you're not you know, if you're not used to firing like you know, AR-15s or 
AR-15 is nothing like really an AK. An AK can can kick depending on what kind you're shooting. So that 7.62 by 39 round is a powerful round. So that's one reason the AK is to some people a superior weapon to the M4 that we are using now in the U.S. military. Again, next to it, the red tip bullets, a 545 by 39 so this is a Hornady, uh, I forgot what they're called, uh, like heat pointed, I forgot, but, uh, this is what my Tontal uses, it's a 545 by 39 it's a real common round, pretty much, and a lot of AK models also. Next to it are two, uh, uh, 223, or basic, AR-15 rounds. Um, I don't have a 5.56, but a 5.56 is basically a has a little bit larger bullet, thicker. It's a thicker round. Well, not like thicker, but um, longer, I guess, in the shell. Um, you can tell a difference um, by side by side, but I don't have any to show right now. I shot them all up with that SIG 556. But uh, anyway, moving to the uh, 30 carbine for the M1 carbine used in WW2. Um, I'll do a review on that gun. That was the basic uh, military issue rifle back in World War II in Vietnam was the M1, M1 Grand, M1 Carbine. Um, oh, I am told though that uh, the Grands were a lot more reliable and the troops were like, were, uh, we used the long, long guns rather than the carbines because the carbines always had trouble jamming on them a lot for some reason. Next getting into the handgun rounds next to the hollow to the left of that silver hollow pointed bullet is a thirty eight special common everyday revolver six shooter round a lot of people carry them uh, for concealed carry, self defense. Um, I've got a couple nice little J frames over there that are in 38 special or 357 mag. Um, and the 357 mag is the 38 special on like roids. Uh, next to it is a 45 caliber um, hollow point, jacketed hollow point. And next to it is a round nosed uh, full metal jacket, um, 45 cal. And the difference with the the hollow points and the round noses pretty much is when the round noses will go through, um, clean through what they like they you fire at, and the hollow points will um, mushroom when they hit the target. And eventually, uh, just kind of start like bouncing around and stopping. And like, you want to use these as home defense. They won't go through like walls if you're if it goes to hits a person, and it won't go through them and then through a wall and into the other house. So you're safer using uh, hollow points like indoors for self home defense. Uh, next to this, I got some 40 Smith & Wesson rounds, again, and hollow point, jacketed hollow points for home defense. I recommend in round, or flat nose, round nose for um, practice or shooting, just, you know, target shooting. Um, 9mm Luger is the last gold-tipped gold tipped round right there it's a very common round a lot of people say it doesn't have the stopping power f to stop a person uh, really dead in their tracks which it probably doesn't have the stopping power to put them on their ass dead in their tracks but if you put it's, it's all about shot placement I mean if you put a 9mm straight into somebody's head and they're going to go down you put a 9mm straight into somebody's like chest they're going to go down um, but, I mean, 
if a nine millimeter is the only thing you can shoot accurately, and if in your if you're wildly inaccurate with a forty five, but you choose that forty five just because of the stopping power and you miss a bunch of times, you know it does you no good. So I'm kind of like iffy on that argument. Next to the nine millimeter is a three eighty auto. Um, a lot of the um, small sub sub compact weapons like uh, that women carry in their purse like the Smith and Wesson bodyguard uh, the Ruger LC LCR or LC9 whatever it is um, the SIG P238 then 380 auto also uh, and then next to it a couple 22 long rifle rounds rim fire and for our the rest of these are center fire. Um, 22 rim fire for the Ruger 1022. Um, if I had a 22 uh, caliber pistol, I would definitely buy back my Walther P22. Uh, that was a fun plinker gun. Might actually do that. Anyway, um, just don't have a lot of 22 caliber uh guns I like I like big noises <laughs> but uh that's just a quick little uh, overview on the cartridges and the ammunition you see in the background um, this gun up here is the Beretta PX4 Storm Special Duty model uh, Desert Tan it came with all the extras and it, it's uh Apparently it's got a lot of uh, upgrades compared to the regular model. I was just doing some cleaning on it, but I'll do a, a review on it probably later today. Anyway, hope that was informative. If you have any other questions about any other... Uh, there, I, I, I left t tons of, of different cartridges and calibers out. Um, I, when I get more ammo in for the guns that I'm bringing up, uh, I'll show you. I'll show more. It's like every time I bring one up, I add a round to the back of the table. So, um, and I'll see if I can hunt down some of those 50 caliber rounds. And uh, let's see what else. What else was I gonna get? Uh, I could. What I was going to do is open up a couple of shells of the, the 12 gauge shells to show you exactly what's in a shotgun shell and how it's packed and like everything. Um, to just show like you know the difference between birdshot, buckshot and, and all that. So look forward to those videos. Uh, this is the South Carolina Gun Network. YouTube. Peace out.